know Will? Do you know where he is? Hiding. Netflix has something for everyone. And you've probably binge watched all the best Netflix shows by now, right? But do you really think you've seen it all? If you do, think again. In this list today, we delve into the top 10 best Netflix original series available to binge watch right now in 2020. Money. That which separates the haves from the have not. Number 10. Ozark. With a vision of a shrinking middle class and defeated relationship ambitions, Ozark is a brilliant jewel in an endless sludge of original Netflix titles. And taking responsibility for the consequences of those actions. It is not just an easy watch. The series is grotesquely violent from its first episode, and it continues in such a manner through its season finale. Let me done with all this madness. Jesus, Marty, he knows the kids' names. Ozark is terrifyingly real, which is why it is at the very top of its game. The show spares no detail in its reality. The violence is authentic, the realm jarring, and the people complicated. Not to mention completely devoid of any Hollywood glamour. Number 9. Afterlife. So how are you? A good day is when I don't go around wanting to shoot random stuff. Afterlife is a Netflix original British black comedy drama series that features Ricky Gervais and plenty of familiar faces if you have followed his previous works. Show the ropes, tell her what's what. Humanity is a plague. We're a disgusting, selfish parasite and the world would be a better place without us. Regarded by many as some of Ricky's finest TV work since Extras, Afterlife is a very awkward and at times quite troubling comedy that explores the theme of grief. That. How is that relaxing? It's disgusting. Following the story of a man called Tony, whose life is turned upside down after his wife dies of cancer, we see a man who, after contemplating suicide, decides instead to take his misery out on the rest of the world by saying and doing whatever he likes. Doing nothing with Lisa. Number 8. The Last Kingdom And it has been strengthened with our blood and bone. Now you are the new heir of Bebe Burr. The Last Kingdom is another British historical fiction series set in the 9th century AD. The series has garnered quite a positive critical response. Us. Do not forsake England. It fuses beautiful cinematography and magnificent action sequences to create highly gratifying historical drama. One day, it is my hope that all kingdoms will become one. The truthful background of this high-stakes history makes The Last Kingdom thrilling on a deeper level. Along with the battle scenes and other entertainments, the series has also been able to reflect many challenges of today's world. Number 7. Our Planet Our Planet is a British nature documentary series made for Netflix, narrated by David Attenborough and produced by Silverback Films. This is the story of our changing planet. With a cornucopia of visual wonder and environmental advocacy, Our Planet's breathtaking cinematography explores more of this beautiful blue marble while presenting its urgent call to action to its inhabitants. In a groundbreaking move, this beautiful but uncomfortable documentary forces viewers to acknowledge their own complicity in the decline of nature. Repeatedly, unambiguously and urgently, our planet reminds its viewers that the wonders they are witnessing are imperiled by human action. Number 6. Peaky Blinders Concerns the factory down the road at the BSA. Rumors get started. Peaky Blinders moves at its own speed, taking its time to create a portrait of post-war Britain that's as bloody and brutal as it is impressively immersive. Those of you who look the other way, you are worse than them. In this series, a small gang that runs the streets of Birmingham in the aftermath of the Great War is led by Thomas Shelby, an exceptionally bright and violent man who is revered as a war hero for his role as a tunneler. Got attacking your bookies and taking your money. The men can't control them. It's Tommy's ambition to remove all competition in the bookmaking market, allowing him to establish a legitimate monopoly. As soon as you grow to love the characters, the show wastes no time putting them in danger, taking full control of your body's adrenaline output. Number 5. Stranger Things 
think she knows what happened to him. Exciting, heartbreaking, and sometimes scary. Stranger Things acts as an addictive homage to Spielberg films and vintage 1980s television. You know Will? Do you know where he is? Hiding. A love letter to the 80s classics that captivated a generation, Stranger Things is set in 1983 Indiana, where a young boy vanishes into thin air. As friends, family, and local police search for answers, they are drawn into an extraordinary mystery involving top-secret government experiments, terrifying supernatural forces, and one very strange little girl. With an astoundingly efficient storytelling, Stranger Things is a rare example of a cultural phenomenon that has delivered wistfulness and familiarity without simply giving audiences more of the same. Number 4. The Crown It's so important to have the right person by your side. You understand the title. The Crown is one more historical drama web television series about the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, created and principally written by Peter Morgan and produced by Left Bank Pictures and Sony Pictures for Netflix. With powerful performances and lavish cinematography, The Crown is a top notch production worthy of its grand subject. Oh, my queen. I am both, and a strong man will be able to kneel to both. I will not kneel before my wife. But your wife is not asking you to. But my queen commands me. The Crown traces the life of Queen Elizabeth II from her wedding in 1947 to Philip Mountbatten until the early 21st century. This television's best soap opera has also been praised for its writing, acting, directing, cinematography, production values, and relatively accurate historical account of Queen Elizabeth's reign. Number 3. Mindhunter You know, there's a lot more like me. Do you think so? Mindhunter is an American crime thriller web series that distinguishes itself in a crowded genre with ambitiously cinematic visuals and meticulous attention to character development. We should be using every resource we can, talking to the smartest people we find from the broadest possible spectrum. With its creepy interrogations, weighty conversations, and strong performances, Mindhunter expands its narrative horizons without losing sight of the details that made its first season so rich, crafting a chilling second season that is as unsettling as it is. Is utterly absorbing. January 1974. They just moved in two months prior. My partner and I were first on the scene. The FBI investigator Holden Ford, played by Jonathan Gruff, gets inside the heads of killers, studying their twisted motivations in obsessive detail by visiting them in prison to become almost supernaturally adept at solving new cases by recognizing the relevance of supposedly innocuous clues. Number two, Money Heist. What are we robbing? It's purely rock and roll how Money Heist became the biggest Netflix global hit in 2020. La Casa de Papel, literally the house of paper as it's known in its original and more catchy Spanish title, follows a gang of mysterious robbers who occupy and steal buildings on the orders of their nameless boss, the professor. This show won the Best Drama Series in our National Emmy in 2018, and it's the most watched non-English series on Netflix, with 44 million households streaming the third season in the first four weeks of its release. The show's addictive, fast-paced, and adrenaline-fueled entertainment can numb half your brain while you watch it and keep you hooked, devouring one episode after another. Number 1. Dark Heute Morgen folgen sich aufeinander, sie sind in einem ewigen Kreis miteinander verbunden. This German science fiction thriller web series is not just a show you watch, it's a show you solve. Dark's central mystery unfolds slowly, both tense and terrifying, culminating in a creepy cinematic triumph of sci-fi noir. The series is often positioned as a counterpart to Stranger Things because both the shows have prominent storylines set in the 1980s and features kids who wonder about small town where weird things are happening. The series is conceptually dark, full of cheating spouses, grotesque killings, and dead birds falling from the sky in a hail of limp. If you have not watched it yet, it's high time you did.
All right, guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 best Netflix original series to watch in 2020. Thank you so much for watching the video. What's your favorite series among these? Let us know in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more videos like this, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.